Good morning, kindergartners, and happy Wednesday. Goodness gracious, I'm looking out my window and I see snow on the ground again. I just can't believe it. It certainly doesn't feel like spring. It was super cold yesterday, snowy today, but I do see the sun again and I will take the sun. Even if I'm inside my house, I like to feel the sun beating through the windows. We are still in the season of spring and hopefully we will start to get a little bit of better spring weather so our flowers and grasses and plants can grow. But today does not look like it's going to be that day. So let's keep going through our morning message. What is the name of the month we are in? April. April is the fourth month. Let's sing our months together. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. April, April, we are in the middle of April. I'm going to move our little birthday stars for a minute. I already told you today was Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday, April 14th. What is today's date? Wednesday, April 15th. So we're going to move the 15 right back to the calendar and our birthday stars back. Let's try to write our date today. If you do any journaling or writing of stories, any work you do, it's always a good idea to get in the habit of writing the date on everything you do, your name and the date. Those are good habits to get into as you move from kindergarten to first grade to second grade and to third grade. Your teachers are going to want you to have your name on everything and the date. So writing the date today, April is the fourth month, dash, Wednesday the 15th day of April, 15 dash 2020, the year we are in. Today is April 15th, 2020. Good job. All right, my friends, let's add another cube to our ones. How many ones do I have today? You are right. I've got seven ones. Is that enough to trade in? No way. So we still have three tens. Is that enough to trade in? No way. And we've got 100. If we've got 100, three tens and seven ones, how many days of school? 137. Great work, my friends. All right, let's see how we are going to count today. We are going to count by tens again. All right, I'm going to challenge us. I'm not going to start with the tens row. We are experts at the tens row. In fact, we have counted to 1,000 by tens before. Let's count by the threes row. Count by tens in the threes column. I keep saying row, my friends, and I should be saying column. Columns go up and down. Rows go across. So since we are going up and down, that is a column. So we're going to count by tens in the threes column. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93, 103, 113. And you can do that for any row. You could do six. 16, 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, 96, 106, 116. Great counting, my friends. All right, erase your boards and draw a window. Whoops, my mouse got stuck. Draw a window on your whiteboard. <clears throat> I am going to roll the dice. And we're going to add all three dice together to see what our number of the day is. Oh, we've got a big number today, kiddos. Here we go. This is what our dice looks like. 
We're going to have to do a lot of counting. The first dice looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. The first dice is six. My second dice looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. My second dice has five. Actually, I'm going to set this up a little bit differently. While I am doing this, I want you to count and find out how much is on our blue dice. If I have six and five more, this is a different way to write a number sentence. You can write it up and down. If I have six and five more, how many are on my blue dice? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You are right. I've got eleven on my blue dice. So we've got eleven on one side. My pink dice has this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six again. So if my pink dice has six and my blue dice has 11, what is the number of the day? What is the number of the day? Let's count. We have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Our number of the day is 17. A 17 has seven ones and one ten. A 17 has seven ones and one ten. Just like if we were counting with our day count, we would have one ten rod and we'd have seven cubes. That would be 17. 17. All right, my friends. So now I am going to draw 17 dots. Let's see, what 17 things should I have? Let's look at what we've got. How about 17, ooh, 17 flowers. That would brighten up the snowy day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I have 17 flowers. All right, I'm going to roll my pink dice and see what I'm going to give away. My pink dice are telling me to give away four. I'm going to give away four flowers. So that means I'm going to cross off four flowers. One, two, three, four. How many flowers are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have thirteen flowers left. Thirteen flowers left. That's still quite a few flowers. All right, my friends, let's do our tally marks. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, That is a lot of tally marks. I wonder how we could write a number sentence for these tally marks. I'm going to help us out here. We know what five and five is, don't we? What is five and five? That's 10, you're right. So on this side, we have 10.
How many do I have on this side? I have a five and two. I have a five and two. How many tally marks is that? Five, six, seven, you're right. So this number sentence for the tally marks says 10 plus seven equals 17. Good work, my friends. I enjoy when we work with those bigger numbers. Makes it a little more challenging, a lot more fun. All right, erase, wishy-washy, wishy-washy, get those boards clean. All right, my message to you today is it, that's a snap word, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, it is. Another snap word, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, it is. It is k old, cold. It is cold today. Today is a word we can do in parts. We know how to write the word to. Day, to, day. It is cold today. It is cold today. What could you tell me in a morning message? Could you write your own morning message today and show it to me? Maybe you're practicing some of your snap words or maybe you are making new words snap words. For example, maybe you've been writing about different things in your house. Maybe your dog's name is going to become a snap word that you know in a snap. Maybe you're writing stories about your brothers and sisters and friends. Maybe their names can become a snap word. Remember, you can turn any word into a snap word by looking at the word. Let's see, maybe, maybe I'll use my dog's name. Let's turn Finn into a snap word. How do we turn Finn into a snap word? Well, first, we have to look at the word. So you'll need a grown-up to help to make sure that you have the word written the right way. Look at that word, fin, fin. Let's study it. How many letters are there? One, two, three, four. I've got one tall letter and three short letters. I've got one vowel in the middle, two N's. Fin is a name, so it will always have a capital letter in the front, just like your name. All right, so we read it, Fin. Now we studied it. Next, spell it, F-I-N-N. -N. Say it with me, F-I-N-N, -N. Fin. The next part is writing it. Practice writing it, F I N. N. And the last part is using it. So now maybe I will write a sentence about Finn. Finn is, oh, that's a snap word. My, oh, there's another snap word, dog. And I wrote a sentence, so I'm going to put a period at the end. All right, friends, that's how you make any word into a snap word. Read it, study it, spell it, F-I-N-N, -N, write it, and then use it. All right, friends, let me see some of the words that you are turning into snap words today. Have a wonderful morning.